Do you love side dishes? Well, I'm making these in the crock pot. The holidays are not too far away, which means our ovens are gonna be full of delicious things. And if you're like me, you've got too many of those things going into one oven. Hey y'all, I'm Valerie and welcome to my kitchen. In today's video, I thought it'd be fun to share some crock pot side dishes to make your life a little easier. This video is also extra special because it's part of a Crocktober collab hosted by Jenny over at Jenny's Scratch May Kitchen and Tony over at Kettle Kitchen. I'll have their channels linked below along with a playlist full of crock pot recipes. There will also be a giveaway, but I'll tell you more about that here shortly. Now let's get started on these side dishes. This is how I make my southern green beans and potatoes. I like to cook up the bacon and onions first. My crock pot has a stovetop function, so that's what I'm turning on now. But if yours don't, you'll just start the recipe off in a skillet on the stovetop. And then after you get the bacon and onions cooked, you'll just add them on into your slow cooker. I'm starting out by cooking up half a pound of bacon. We love bacon, and I really don't recommend leaving this out. As a matter of fact, if you wanted to add a little more, you could do that too. You'll just want to cook it until it's crispy, then remove it to a paper towel lined plate. I covered mine and stuck it in the refrigerator. Now you're going to leave that grease in your skillet and add in two tablespoons of butter along with one small sliced onion. And I just like to saute that and cook it until the onion is tender. And this is the part where you're gonna add everything from your skillet to your crock pot. The bacon grease and all, make sure it all gets in there. I'm using four cans of the whole green beans. I did drain those, but you could also use frozen or even fresh green beans. You just may have to cook them a tiny bit longer. And to flavor these up, I'm adding a tablespoon of minced garlic, along with half a teaspoon of salt, half a teaspoon of pepper, half a teaspoon of garlic powder, and half a teaspoon of onion powder. And I'm also adding one tablespoon of brown sugar. This is a pound and a half of the itty bitty little red potatoes I have here. You can use the bigger ones, you'll just cut those into smaller pieces. You see how tiny they are. And I just cut each one in half. Now add those in. Now you're just gonna pour in three cups of chicken broth. And I wanted to get a little seasoning on those potatoes, so I added three-fourths of a teaspoon of nature seasoning. And it's just an all-purpose seasoning. I get that at Walmart. Now you're gonna cover it and set it to cook on high for four hours. And I did stir this halfway through just to make sure everything got cooked. And by the way, if you're new here, I always have the full recipe either linked or typed out in my description box below. Now these are done when those potatoes are tender. Now it's time to add the bacon. And just depending on how you want to serve this, I just leave ours in the crock pot. So I'm just adding that bacon right on in. And then I just serve it with a slotted spoon. But if you wanted, you could always drain this and add it to a serving dish and then top it with the bacon and serve it that way. But since I was just making this for us, I had to make some cornbread to go with it. And we had it for dinner. It is so good. This is kind of a tradition around here, or for us anyways. Anytime we have a get together or like a holiday dinner, you can always find green beans and potatoes. They're such a simple side dish, but they're absolutely delicious. Okay, details about that giveaway. All you have to do to enter is leave a comment down below. Don't forget to check out the playlist. There will be a new video posted every day 
for the whole month of October. And make sure you comment on the other videos as well. That'll increase your chance of winning. And the winner will be announced in a live stream at Jenny's Scratch Made Kitchen on November 2nd at 6.30 Eastern Standard Time. I wanted to jump in right quick and say, if you're coming over from the playlist, welcome. My name is Valerie and I'm so glad you're here. I do lots of easy recipes on my channel. So if that's something you're interested in, I would love it if you would hit that subscribe button and become part of my YouTube family. Okay, now let's get back to these recipes. These apple pecan sweet potatoes turned out to be a family favorite. I've got three pounds of sweet potatoes here that I diced into half inch pieces, but you'll wanna dice yours a little bigger than an inch because you'll see in a little bit here, mine softened up way too quick. Now I'm sprinkling over three fourths cup of brown sugar. And this recipe is kind of a combination of three recipes. I wanted to leave the sweet potatoes whole, different from a casserole, but I still wanted to do it in a crock pot. I also added about two teaspoons of vanilla, half a teaspoon of salt, and two teaspoons of cinnamon. I'm also adding in about a fourth of a cup of maple syrup. This just goes perfect with those sweet potatoes. Now I'm topping it all off with a stick of butter. I'm gonna add some apples also, but I'm not adding those until halfway through. I cover this and set it to cook on high for four hours. I did stir this after an hour just to make sure all those sweet potatoes got tender. And it worked because they actually got a little too tender. Next time, I'll definitely cut mine into bigger cubes, probably about an inch and a quarter. Either way though, they still turned out delicious. They had only been cooking an hour here so I covered them back up and let them cook another hour before I added the apples. So it's been two hours and I wanted to add in a little cornstarch slurry to kind of thicken up that liquid and make it more of a glaze. This is just one tablespoon of cornstarch that I mixed with two tablespoons of apple juice. Now I'm adding in three apples that I peeled and diced. I just used the red delicious because that's what I had on hand but you could also use the Granny Smith. And you can see here how tender the sweet potatoes were already getting. I covered this back up and let it continue to cook for about two more hours. You'll just wanna let it cook until those apples are tender. The flavor of these was amazing. And they might've been a little falling apart but I loved that they weren't all mashed up like the normal sweet potato casserole. Sometimes it's good to change it up every now and then. And for all my sweet friends out there, I had to show you a little clip of Lainey. She was having her a good old time. She's six months old now, I can't believe it. The sweet potatoes and apples turned out delicious. I just added it all to a serving dish and then I topped it with toasted chopped pecans. If you wanted to, you could stir in the pecans. That way they would be mixed into everything, but I just added them to the top. These turned out so good. And you know, it's nice to have a little something sweet with your dinner. I really hope you enjoyed this video. You may also like these. Don't forget to check out that playlist and subscribe down below if you're not already, and I will see you in the next one.